This is our latest acquisition, a triple bike trailer. Tidy little thing, but can anyone else see the problem with this picture? Now I'm using a drop hitch on the Hilux too, but the trailer's nose up quite a lot. We need to get a bit more height out of this trailer. It's only running a 14 inch five stud wheel. I'm not really gonna be touching the axle. All we wanna do is get a little bit of height out of it so that we don't destroy it, taking it into where we wanna go. The first little mod we're gonna to do to it, nothing stays unmodified for long. What we're gonna do, we're gonna put the leaf springs on top of the axle. So we're gonna gain about 50 mil of height doing that. I'm gonna show you how easy it is to do. So these are a five stud rim. So I'm probably gonna to have to do something about the hubs to get a decent height tire out of it. But what we'll do, we'll spring it over first, see how it sits and then see if we can get into this property I'm thinking of going to on the weekend. We're gonna undo the two U-bolts. So we've got the four nuts at the bottom and we'll undo them. All right, so we've got the plate and the two U-bolts. Now we repeat this on the opposite side. The other side's undone. What we're gonna do, we're gonna stand in there. We're basically gonna drag the axle out. Now this would be the time if I was gonna modify the axle to put a, a Toyota one in, this would be the time to do it. But we're heading away in a couple of days and I just wanna do the spring over for now. I think I've got enough clearance to get me into where I need to go. The other thing I'll have to move is that number plate's gonna get bashed hard where we're taking it. So we'll have to reverse that up too somehow. This is how the axle was sitting. Now this is what we want to do, we want to be rotating it. So the next job I've got to do is that's a center bolt. There's a nut on the bottom of that. I need to turn that around. I need to make the pin at the bottom. So then that pin sits in this locating plate here. We'll clamp this together and flip that bolt around. So you can see why we've turned this bolt around. So the head of that bolt will now fill into that plate. Then the plate that holds the U-bolt fits nicely over the nut. So it was all reversed before and what we've done is we've flipped it upside down. So we've gained this much height plus the thickness of the spring. All right, so we're just gonna temporarily do that for now. I'm out of stands. I'm gonna go around the other side and properly line it up. So this has taken me less than 25 minutes. And really, I should have put a bit of paint on the axle, but I'm in a hurry. We could be picking up Millie's new bike tomorrow. Time for a two-stroke for the little girl. There we have it, sprung over in half an hour. So it's gonna be interesting to see with the tire on and how it sits behind the Hilux now. Otherwise, it's not a big deal. We pick up another axle with a six stud hub and we put two of these six stud chromies on it. Match the car trailer then. What's under the tarp, Mill? Oh no, you got it. What? Motorbike. What motorbike? The Yamaha. <laughs> Didn't you want your Yamaha to get wet? Yeah. The finishing touches before your first ride this weekend. We got her race number 110 on a new Husky. Yeah. Sizes up nice, Mill. Can't yeah. wait to see you on it. Bit of bullet news. We've got that new cover on that rear shaft so we can fit this back up. It's over at Adams at the moment and he's bracing up that trail gear dual case cross member. 